So today I'm going to be telling you how to take off the rear panel of a 2006 Honda Pilot and how to install uh, an aftermarket subwoofer. So here's the stock sub of a 2006 Honda Pilot. That one is 50 watts. Basically it doesn't do anything. Now here's my new one that I got which I'll talk about mine in a little bit. But now let's talk about how to get off the rear paneling. So first what you're going to have to do is unscrew these two um, screws right here and this entire piece will come off. There is some clips throughout it. You just have to easily pop them off. Um, next to this cargo um, cover right here that pulls open there's going to be two clips. You're going to see them on either side and this one easily just pulls up. Just use some a little tiny bit of force and that easily comes out without any screws. Now taking out the actual panel there's a few covers you need to take off and a lot of screws as well. So to start there's a first cover right there, cover right there, one down there, one inside there, one down there, one down there, one inside this clip, one inside there, and one inside that clip as well. And to take out the paneling, you're actually going to need to take out take out the, the rear seat right here. And there's a bunch of bolts underneath it and it's some of them are really hard to get to so you're probably going to need a ratchet set and a breaker bar to easily get them loose and um, using a, a gun probably wouldn't work because it's really hard to get to them back there so down here in the seat there's two bolts on, on underneath these covers in the front and I can't show you because it's really hard to film but back in the seats like right there and right there there's two more bolts on each side that you will have to get out and take the seat fully out and you will have to take off this little clip use your key and just open that up and let the seat belt dangle and once the seat's fully out um, the whole reason why you have to take the seat out is because this panel doesn't lift upwards once you get the screws out it comes out this way so that's why the seat has to be removed the one other thing you're going to have to do is take off this seat belt just by taking off that cover right there, there's a bolt, and you can unscrew the bolt and then get the seat belt off. This other seat belt back here, that can stay. That one you don't need to take off. And once you're done installing your sub and you're putting the paneling back in, just make sure that this little rubber piece goes back over the top of it. And also make sure you just tighten down your seat belt because that thing is going to have to be tight. So for my setup, I have a 10 inch Rockford sub. And this one is a significantly bigger than the original stock one I showed you earlier today. This right here. So some problems did actually occur when I was installing this as if it was too, it was sticking out too far and it didn't fit in, in the, the space behind the paneling. So what you're going to have to do if that's the, your case is what I did is I had spacers. So this is actually just a piece of wood I got from a, perf a perfect circle 12 inch piece of wood I got from Home Depot for seven bucks painted it black to, ma to match and that acted as my spacer in between the paneling and how um, far the sub was coming out and for my wiring um, I'll show you what I did so I had the wiring running inside the panel before I put it put it on obviously and then if you come out over here this piece right here the step easily pops off of your hand that comes off and I had wiring from the panel down into there coming in and you can see it coming out right there underneath the the carpet and then my amplifier is underneath the the passenger car seat so that was how to take off the rear panel and install the subwoofer in a 2006 Honda Pilot if you have any questions put them in the comments and I will answer all of them and I have a few more videos on my channel about the subwoofer and also just my Honda Pilot um, one of them being how to access the firewall um, from the the inside of the car to the engine to run your wiring when I was doing this myself in my car there was not a single piece or anything video out there that showed you how to do that on this car so that will also be in the description for you to check out thanks for watching